Today we're going to have a listen to several radio signals that you can find at Relay Station 0BB. It is just north of Fort Hagen here and uh, activated via a terminal. Normally there's a random encounter so you'll find enemies engaged with one another but it should be pretty simple for you. Activate the satellites and then we can go find the three bunkers it is connected to. First up we want to head straight northwest here to the first signal it's the radio signal also there's a stolen tank here that uh yeah it's it's got a wee story behind it we know you can read definitely recommend you check it out when you're in the area as we get closer here the signal will get a little louder so this is where it's originating from. There is a raider here. He's trying to sell his cams. We can actually turn off his little signal. Uh, he does have cams. And you might look and go, how, how long? They're not here. That's because he hid them on the ham radio broadcasting this in a little bunker. Again, if you want to see where it is exactly on the map, it closest place is technically the Nuka-Cola World uh, Transit Center or the Relay Tower itself. Killing him and turning the radio off will permanently turn the signal off. Be sure to pick up any of the cams. His cooler is a novice lock and it gets you a fair amount. Next up is the Fort Hagen Satellite Array. Once you get close to here, if you have the Automaton DLC, by the way, Rust Devils will be present. So bear that in mind. If you don't have the DLC, this is actually an easier run. So the first bunker is over here. Now that gets you into the satellite bunker, but... The bunker we're looking for is actually at the rear here, located over here. This is an emergency broadcast coming from this little ham radio. Turning it off though, we can find some dog tags. It seems whoever held up in here couldn't take it much longer and eventually left. Broadcasting the signal, presumably for as long as he had supplies. Running out and joining the fray. Turning off the ham radio will disable the signal. Now, our last destination is Fiddler's Green. Catch us over there. The last signal is just the distress signal, not the beacon. Uh, when you have a listen, a guy is basically detailing that he's trapped in a bunker in Fiddler's Green. He says there's some ghoulies outside and obviously he's not able to leave. When you arrive here, yes, there are ghoulies. There's plenty of them. Loads, in fact. The bunker itself is located right over here, underneath some wood. It's quite well hid, actually. Inside, you can listen to the broadcast a little more clearly before turning it off. Silencing it forever. The settler broadcasting it, unfortunately, didn't make it all that long. And he looks a lot like Nate. Try not think about it too much. Maybe this is the real Nate and you're the synth. Again, conspiracy. Plenty of supplies, though, you can definitely take. He must have died to radiation or something because it seems he had food to go anyway once you pick up all the items and the extremely cute small safe here you can venture out and that covers all the signals for the relay tower and the last thing i want to show you is just beside it because if you just head a little ways east of course there is the stolen tank that i recommend you read up on the funny story behind that you can not only find a safe in some foundations over there, but there's this little curious shack. This I like to call the Rocket Shed. Inside there are plenty of, you guessed it, rockets. And you can, you can load them up if you want. They don't do all that much. Except, look, insanely cool. Now be careful, if you ignite any of them, it'll ignite the whole place, you'll have a bad time. But Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoy the fireworks. Some may rebound and detonate them all, which you will die. So, you know, be careful about that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next one.